Here we are at 219 Sequoia Circle. This is a three bedroom, two bath. Square footage is 1400, built in 1988. It's approximately a half acre. And this is a main road right down that way. And so this Sequoia Circle is just off of that main road. This is about the property line. We have a brick ranch with three tab shingles on the roof. There are wood accents. Looks like we have a newer mailbox. And then here we are about on the property line again. You can see that the back patio is more of a side patio. Nice long driveway you could fit, you know, as you can see next door, you can fit you know, three to four cars in the driveway. I would say three would probably be the max being it's one car garage. So as we come on up, we've got this walkway. You can see that the hedges have been trimmed here. They'll fill in. Here we've got a flower bed that you could add to, and then a covered front porch with storm door. So as we head on in, we walk right into the main living area. It looks like there's new flooring throughout, fresh paint. We have these nice beams on the ceiling. There's a couple spots where it looks like the texture is coming down. You have that nice stone faced fireplace mantle. You can see that you've got wiring over here for TV um, hookups. So if I go to this opposite corner to give you a view here, you can see you've got linoleum right there in the entryway to protect the carpet. Kitchen is here and then dining areas this way. So there's fresh paint with the exception of the ceiling. So you can see there's kind of some splotchy points as far as paint color, or there might've been touch-ups occasionally. Here's dining room. This door, this double door looks older. Um, it looks like it's missing a seal here at the bottom, which is something that they would definitely wanna get replaced to prevent water from coming in. Um, these little molding trim pieces that are on the exterior could see that that's come loose so you could either look at removing them completely changing out the doors or repairing and this is a true french door so it'll open completely out to this back area so if you decided that you wanted to enclose this or make a patio with a fence and whatnot you could extend and have some outdoor living area as well I'm not seeing anything crazy on the roof. It doesn't look like it's new by any means, but it doesn't look like it's run down. Um, some of this wood looks like, you know, it could be touched up, sealed, or might need to be replaced. But um, again, I'm not seeing anything really affecting the bones or the structure at this point. So there's a little green belt barrier here behind you and whatever's behind the house. And that's the neighbor's property over there. You can see we have the same issue there's some wood rot here again it's just notable that there's not much overhang so most likely there's uh, been water damage or water that's come in here so those are wood rot areas that would need to be replaced or repaired of course and you can see that the little plastic trim pieces on the exterior of the door are also coming loose
it and has become this way. So this is interesting. There are a ton of roaches in here and they're like dying on the verge of dying or dead. Um, I'm not seeing anything looking super alive. So I'm not sure if this house was sprayed and this is where the majority of them were and now they're all kind of creeping out and dying or what the status is on that. But of course I wanted to point it out in case there's a problem. You could see here's some little butt part where there was eggs laid. All real wood cabinets. We have a 50-50 sink. It's shallow, but it's definitely here. There's a light fixture here above. Dishwasher. This looks new-ish, so I'm seeing roaches as I open it, which means that they're definitely, and this is an area that they like because it's, it can have moisture. There's some swelling on the countertop right here. It's not soft, but again, just more evidence that there's some roaches. So we have this nice double oven. So you've got a shit one more shallow on the upper, and then you've got more of a full size on the lower. And then areas for baking pans on either side. Seasonings, nice easy access. The cabinets feel really good. So again, you can see all of our little friends here. This is definitely an old fridge. Oh, we're gonna close that back up. That was not cute. It's full of mold and there's food and whatever else in there. And as we step into the garage, here's our single car garage. It is a finished garage, so it's painted. You do have a garage door opener. Water heater. Here's our pull down attic access and your electrical panel. And this is a nice garage door. It looks like it's insulated. Maybe not, it just looks that way because it's so new. The insulation uh, that garage doors can have is really nice and looks thick. That one's just so new, it looks great. floor plan is very very popular um a lot of times that garage area ends up getting converted to additional living space which is nice so here's a huge walk-in pantry which I, I kind of glanced over but i wanted to mention so you have this walk-in pantry with window it's really nice um, it looks like again they've been freshly painting so the doorknobs are all set aside This is a eat-in kitchen area, so if you did want to put like a little round table here, you could, or a butcher block for extra counter space, you could absolutely do that. And this is looking back into the living area. So we have foggy windows. You can see there's a couple windows that are really foggy. The seals are broken. And it doesn't affect how the window works, just how well you can see out. That's more. So as we keep going, interior portion of the HVAC. And then we have the hallway with all the bedrooms. And there's bathrooms, of course. So here we are in bedroom one, good size room. Again, there's our doorknob, closet. Here's 
Here's bedroom two. Again, really good size room. And they're all in the back of the house. In case that makes any difference to you. And then right across the hall from bedroom two is the bathroom. So you have linoleum on the floor, the same cabinets as the kitchen. You've got laminate countertop, single vanity. Looks like they're putting a new toilet seat on here. You have a tile surround with the tub. So in this bathroom is also your laundry room. So it's just off of this bathroom, which could be really convenient considering that most people are dressing down here. If you wanted to put shelves back here, you could. And then here we are in the master. Again, a great sized room. This is, you can see that they've been laying the new flooring. There's no funny smells. Again, foggy windows. Master closet. It's a nice walk-in. And then master bathroom. Here's your linoleum, single vanity. So the other tub is where I think they're, they're still working. They haven't cleaned it up yet. This one's been cleaned up. So I imagine the other one will take after this one more. And again, I'm, I'm seeing the cockroaches, but I'm only seeing them here. I'm not seeing them anywhere else. So as we step back out, that's your view from the front porch.